Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Voxel Twig and we're back with another episode of Stone Block 3. Last time we got our refined storage system up and running. Oh, and look at that, we got the Stick of Truth. Today, we are going to get started on Project E, which I am super excited for. But before we do that, I want to show you that I was able to charge our wireless crafting grid. I did disconnect our armory cabinet because it had way too many things in there and they weren't really stacking. It was kind of frustrating, so I didn't want to see it all in there. It's still gathering all of it, but it's just not in our system to view. Now, how did I get this charge, you're wondering? I made a player transmitter from Power, and I made a binding card. Binding cards, not super difficult. I just made the card, right-clicked in the air, bound it to myself. And once I put it in here, this will now wirelessly transmit power to me anywhere I am. So anything I have on me that requires power will be charged, which is absolutely fantastic. So, Project E. Let's look, take a peek -sees. Project E here. The very first step in this process is going to be to make a philosopher's stone which requires one nether star to get started now we are going to start here because we can automate a lot of this the other option is to start up with our energy condenser using our energizing orbs but if you see here you need dark matter and red matter to make this so naturally we need to start with the philosopher's stone because what this will do is allows you to convert to equivalent items and blocks by crafting or right clicking so if we look at, you know, a recipe here, we can turn four alchemical coal into a Mobius fuel. We can turn four, diamond, four gold into a diamond and so on and so forth. So what's going to happen is we're going to be able to make this Philosopher's Stone and then we can try to set up sort of some sort of auto crafting to generate coal to then automatically convert it down the line and all the way to red matter and have a nice big stockpile of that red matter. Another reason I want to get started on this is because of this watch of flowing time. It speeds up machines near me at the cost of EMC. So once we start generating EMC, we can add these watches around the base for different machines and different things to try to speed them up. I'm not sure how they work with Create, but I'm hoping they do because it would be cool to set them up with maybe like grinding wheels or something. Not 100% sure, but super excited to get into it. So naturally, the first thing we need is another star. Now, I went ahead and did some grinding off camera, got some levels, got some enchanted gear, and I got our three wither skeleton skulls. And down here, in the bottom of our pit of despair, I have set up our arena. So, let's get down here, and I will show you what we are working with. And again, this, much like the chickens, uh, Project E is not something that you have to get started right away. I think it would be super helpful because it allows you to exchange items. So if we look in here, we can do, I believe it's pound EMC. And this will show us every block that has an EMC value, okay? And so basically, look at this, I got eight pages of items, okay? So everything on this list, once we start getting into Project E, we're gonna make a, where is it? A transmutation table and tablet, okay? And what these is, you can deconstruct items, learn them, and turn them into EMC. So essentially, if we looked at, you know, let's pick something random here. A pressurized reaction chamber is 10,224 EMC. If we made one of these, okay, one, put it in that transmutation tablet, it now knows how to make it with me so far. So that's 10,000 EMC. If we then add, if we hooked up our, you know, our cobblestone generator to that tablet, it would constantly be piping stone in there with an EMC value of one. So essentially, every time it gets 10,000 stone, we have 10,000 EMC stored, and then we can just take one of the pressurized reaction chambers out. So it's a really great way to store items that you might not necessarily need. So like we can make extra chickens to just make a big EMC farm and then use that to start gathering items. So it's a super cool mod. 
Uh, that's going to really help in the late game, setting us up for success by starting early so that way we can start getting all those things taken care of now because those singularities at the end game are quite beefy. But you see here, here is our arena. Hopefully this tunnel is long enough and he does not wreck us. So let's get this party started. Let him blow up. Here we go. Boss fight. Where you go? <laughs> He's too high up. Health back real quick. <laughs> and I know we have a lot of netherite, but I'm using a Tinker's tool. We have a cobalt blade with two bronze tool shafts. Ooh. Nether star. Uh, because, and then we added, it came with three upgrades and I added nether quartz to it. And essentially that puts me at 7.75 attack damage. And that is 0.25 less than the netherite sword. But I can level this up. So the more I level it up, the more modifiers I can add to it. Right now, I just put all of the available modifiers into attack damage. But we can also add things like haste, luck, looting, beheading, severing, whatever it is. So it was the right call for us. I don't know if I, was able, I would have been able to make a netherite one. But... Um, I just, I tried to melt it, but uh, the heat was not high enough for us to be able to do that. So, all right, so now we have wireless crafting grid, philosopher's stone. So if we want this, this, okay, put that right, actually let's take that out. Okay, so we need Three of these, two of these, one of these, two of these. And now we can add this. Boom. Philosopher's Stone. Now, this, I believe, yeah, this can also change things around it as well. Just right clicking. And I think, yep, we can throw. So we can transmute mobs and things too, so that's pretty cool. So, let's see here. So we got that. The next, so we're just gonna kinda work our way down here. The next one is gonna be Mobius Fuel. So the alchemical fuels smelt more items than normal coal and are used in certain recipes. Then we can get dark matter and then red matter. So, what we want to do is we want some coal. Just take, take a few stacks of that. I don't know why I ran all the way over here. We could just do it in our pockets now. Two. Okay, alchemical coal, add. Eh. No, it does not have to be exact. Oh, this is the, oh, this, I'm dumb. This is the, uh, that's the pattern grid. That's for making patterns. Okay, 
Make some of this. Make four stacks of that. Make one stack of that. Make a stack of that. Uh, the next one is going to be, oh, okay. So let's actually make more of this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Make a bunch. Okay, take that out. And we need diamonds. Let's make, let's make seven of those. Make that and that and that. Seven. Is that what it was? No, it was this dark matter. Okay, dark matter, check. So we have seven dark matter, and then we can make one red matter. So now we've gone straight down all the way to red matter, which is fantastic. We've gotten all of those quests along the way completed. So now the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to work our way up to an energy condenser because that's what's going to unlock the transmutation tablets and our energy collectors. Now, I think what I want to do for that, I think there is a block called the crafter tier one from RF tools, I guess. Shift, two recipes, four recipes, eight recipes. So I think we would need the eight. So we would need a crafter tier three, crafter this, crafter that. Okay, let's see. Can we make a machine frame? Wait, do we not have any? Oh, we need, uh, no, we need, we don't have any blue dye, really? There we go. One machine frame. Two of these. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We don't have our cobblestone in the system. I don't think no, yeah, none of that's in the system. Just give me a stack. Okay. I don't need to go running over there. I could just do it right here. Just give me that. Okay. Redstone torches. Make crafter tier one, crafter tier two, crafter tier three. All right, this is probably gonna require power, so we'll throw him up here. Right there is good, yep, powered. All right, okay. At project E, okay. So this is going to be that, with that, okay, okay, uh, apply, 
and then alchemical coal. And then Mobius fuel, boink. Apply, nope. Okay, apply. 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 This one's gonna be this. Apply. Okay. So, if I were to put this here and that there. Um, uh -huh. we're going to figure this out. Throw that there, throw that there. We are going to figure this out together. Remember current items in the internal. <laughs> stay in input buffer will go to output buffer. Remaining items like buckets will stay. Okay, let's see how this needs to work. All right, I think we got it figured out. So I went through each recipe and I set it the top to all and the bottom to int. And then so that will make sure everything stays in the internal buff buffer here. So as it crafts, it should it won't actually put anything in the output buffer. It'll all stay in here. So if I were to pop two of these guys, then this should just continuously fill with. Yeah, here it is. Okay, there we go. So now it's going and it will just continuously fill with coal. So that is perfect. It's not the fastest thing in the world. It looks like we need a filter. So let's go grab that. See if we can just craft one uh, pipe upgrade. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Uh, we actually we're gonna need two of them. Actually, probably need three. Because uh -huh. we're gonna put two. We got two cold chickens, and we're gonna put a diamond chicken. That way, the diamond chicken can do. It make the diamond blocks. So let's throw you there. Throw you there. Now this shank should be cruising along. Yeah. Yep. Diamond chicken. Now we should see diamonds popping in. Oh, this one's not set to int. There we go. Okay. Um, actually, I am going to go and fix this up a bit because I don't like watching all this go around crazy like this. So give me one second. All righty. So we moved everything down here where it was closer to our computer system and our power. It's a little bit cleaner. Bottom line, we have a chicken back there, a diamond chicken, feeding our compacting drawers. And that is just continuously making diamond blocks which feed into here and we have about eight coal chickens behind here that are continuously feeding coal into our crafter so you can see here it goes pretty fast i did turn on speed mode fast and then all of that is cycling through all the way down to red matter which gets deposited into this drawer here 
So this is fully contained, fully automated, and will run forever. Now, the next thing that we're going to need is we are going to need a dark matter block, which should just be nine, right? Oh, no, it's only four. All right, cool. Four. And then make that dark matter block. And then we're going to need a red matter block, which is four of these. Perfect. And now we are going to need crystal chest, a dirt chest, and an alchemical chest. Can I make a crystal chest, diamond chest, gold chest, iron chest, trapped chest? What? Hmm. Oh, we didn't hook up our other, all of our other chests yet, so that's great. It's okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm sure there's a chest in here. No. Fine. Make one of these. Scoop. Okay. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Iron chest. Gold chest. Diamond chest. Crystal chest. Okay, and a dirt chest. Just need eight dirt. It's a weird thing, but okay. Eight of those. One dirt chest, please. And then we need an alchemical chest. Oh boy. How do we get this? Amethyst shard and copper ingot. Amethyst shards come from washing gravel, so we definitely have those. Diamond lattice. We don't have any netherite scrap, which should come from... Uh, let's see. Netherite scrap. Ancient debris. <coughs> Excuse me. Ancient debris. Can I make ancient debris? <laughs> Nether rack. That no. Uh, what about netherite scrap sand? So we really just need to find. Hmm. We need to find ancient debris in order to make this diamond lattice, which is crazy. I don't know why they would require scrap, because we have all the other stuff over here. Like, to require scrap specifically is silly, especially when we have, we have debris scrap. Can I do anything with that? Debris... Scrap. Makes molten debris. Molten debris. Tool binding. Make a... Oh! Oh, we can blast chill it. Molten debris can be blast chilled into an ingot cast. Okay. So we're going to have to blast chill. Weird that we can't... Oh, wait, no. Here we go. Molten debris. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Okay. We can do this. Molten gold. We need to melt it. Okay. This is a process where you get there. All right, let's figure this out. So we have 
we have everything we need except we can make this probably yeah we're gonna energize this stuff so i think that's gonna i think we'll wrap it up here for today because we did a lot with project e next time we are going to continue on and work on this top part here because i really want to get to the transmutation table and tablet and in between episodes we are going to go out and try to find ourselves some blazes because we are going to need blazing blood to heat this up because it looks like that is just not hot and our our little smeltery here is just not hot enough with lava so we have to get blazing blood which is fine we just got to get blaze um but that is a job for next time i hope you guys like this episode i'm super excited for project e it's going to open up a lot of doors and make a lot of crafting a lot easier this thing is just going to run forever we already got almost a full stack and it's just it just goes and goes and goes it's perfect but if you guys like this episode, please hit that like button down below, leave me a comment. And if it's your first time here, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you got any tips or tricks or things you want to see, let me know down below. And as always, I am Voxel Twig, and I will catch you all next time.